when I'm talking about a problem that I give you the wrong point. Um, anytime except for I was saying when I chose the wrong point like I did last problem. Well for this problem it asks us to find um, a point that is, oh, I'm sorry, asks us to find the equation that is parallel and that goes to this point. So to do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys using the method of using our slope intercept method. Okay? So that's the equation I'm going to use. Now, it says they want us to find a new equation, right? A new equation. That means my new equation can, is going to be in the form of y equals mx plus b. Okay? So I need to write a new equation, y equals mx plus b. Now, the only thing they tell us is they said, all right, our new equation is going to be parallel. So when I think of parallel, I remember, all right, parallel lines never touch, right? And they have the same rope? Slope. Slope, right? So therefore, if the slope of this line is 13, the slope of this line has to be what? 13. <laughs> so on everybody's problem, everybody had a problem either 13 through 15, right? Or 11 through 15. Everybody could have at least transferred in what their new slope is. Does that make sense? You know your slope of your new line is going to be exactly the same, so plug in the new slope. It's exactly the same as the one you previously used. Now the next thing is, we need to figure out what the y-intercept is. If I say the y-intercept the y of this equation, you're right, is 4. So if I say the new equation, y-intercept, is negative 4, are these two equations the same? Right. Yeah, they'd be exactly the same. But they said our equation, though, we want to know what is the equation of the line that's parallel but that goes through a point 912. So to determine what my new y-intercept is going to be, what I need to do is I need to determine what is going to be my new y-intercept. So to find that, I'm going to plug in x and y. Because remember guys, every coordinate point has an x and a y coordinate, okay? So therefore, to plug them in for x and y, what I'll do is, y is going to be 12 equals 13 times 9 plus b. All right? So therefore, now I just do 13 times 9, which is 117. Not 90. <laughs> right? Then I'll subtract 117. Okay, so then I get negative uh, 105 equals B. So now, ladies and gentlemen, I have my new B. So I can plug in this B into my equation. So I have Y equals 13X plus a negative 105. Or we can write that simplified as y equals 13x minus 105. Okay? So just remember, guys, when you're finding parallel lines, use the same slope, and if it goes through a point, plug in your point in for your x and y to solve for your new b, which is your y-intercept. Once you know your y-intercept, you add it into your equation. Okay? So you guys all have a parallel line problem you can do, right? Let's give it a shot.